Okay, aboard the Erwin 38, we are looking into the V berth. We have the cushions for the cockpit. Uh, hatch. Oh, it looks like that light's on. No, 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 that's the light from the uh, prism in the ceiling. Uh, the hatch into the head, which is a standing room head. Well, I suppose if you're real tall, you could open up the hatch to have your shower, which hangs on that hook while you either stand on the grate or sit on the dunny with a big mirror to make it look twice the size. On the other side, two lots of hanging lockers. Or well, actually, that one's a hanging locker. This one's a set of drawers. And into the saloon. Storage on either side. Big table, seven seater, maybe six or seven. Engine underneath that center console there, and below the companion way. Gigantic sink, a bit too big. Step down into the galley. The um, original, what looks to be the original stove, gas three burner with oven. Um, Fridge freezer, plenty of storage. I don't quite know what goes on here, but there's something there. What's that little swing up? Oh, okay. Little drinks table. Oh, I suppose a bit of extra prep space as well. Into the nav station, which has a chair there that pulls out. I haven't figured out how to get it to move yet, but I'm sure it moves. Motor in below this area, as I mentioned. The garage full of spares and tools and the sort. Into the uh, rear cabin. Double hanging space. Two hatches, one and two. And three port, four ports. Second ensuite, master's ensuite. Again with shower and uh, wet sump. Oh, that's engine access behind me, I assume. All right. And I had better shut this hatch before we leave. Nice comfy mattress. Size, so big enough for Anne and me. 